young adult literature is written specifically for that demographic. And when they're not able to read in their demographic, we almost ask them to wait until it's too late to read books that are designed and written especially for them uh, with thematic approaches and subject matter that are, are pertinent to young adults and uh, sometimes it gets written off as a throwaway genre or something that can't be celebrated as part of the canon. Uh, but I have a good friend David McKinnis Gill who says the only requirement of a book to enter into the canon is that one teacher teaches it and then shares out with other people and then it becomes part of that, that celebrated canon. I think all YA is smart uh, but I've, I've actually begun to coin a term called Smart YA, and I, I can point to a couple books already this year, like uh, Jonathan Green's uh, The Fault in Our Stars, or Daniel Handler's um, Why We Broke Up. Uh, that the, the complexity of those texts really make you think into the book. And then, you know, good friend Terry Lassane talks about laddering out from the title that you're reading now and moving to next. And I think that's what gets mixed with YA, is that if you have a nonfiction text or a subject that you're covering, there probably are YA titles that connect and spoke out from that, uh, that wheelhouse of an idea. Uh, where you can find those titles. If you're able to do that kind of reader advisory, then YA has its place. And if you're not able to, then again, it becomes that throwaway genre that seemingly has no value, but it does as connective tissue to bigger ideas. Uh, well, Donald Miller talks about those dormant readers, and sometimes you have to find right title, uh, right time, right reader, and it may be just a thing, uh, you know, we talked about students being now and next. Okay, where they are now in their dormancy of, as a reader, if you have the right title, you may move them into the classics or in the canon or that place that you want them to be, but you have to build confidence, independence, metacognition, and certainly stamina. And sometimes YA allows for that stamina. If I were going to speak directly to the uh, the Common Core folks, I would say, uh, here's the thing, please allow us to do the how. Uh, you can do the what as much as you need to, but uh, you keep the how in the hands of the classroom teacher, that, that independence, that, that innovation that happens in those small, quiet places called learning communities. And we also, uh, most teachers, uh, myself included, we just want to know that, uh, that everybody's doing something well. Even, even the worst teacher that you would consider the worst teacher by way of evaluation is doing something well in that classroom. And that's what needs to be celebrated. Somebody's creating practice outside of the learning community when that practice is already being created on a day-to-day -day basis, Monday through Friday, where teachers are doing things and doing them well. And that's the part that's not being put at the table.